Master the beat. Stress patterns in English. Hello everyone and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we are going to dive deep into a very important topic. Identifying stress patterns in context. As you know, English is a stress-timed language, which means that certain syllables are emphasized or stressed more than others. This stress pattern plays a crucial role in the rhythm of English, and understanding it can greatly improve your pronunciation and comprehension. So, let's get started. Stress patterns are all about emphasis. When we stress a syllable in English, we pronounce it louder, longer, and at a higher pitch. Stressed syllables stand out, while unstressed syllables tend to shrink and become less noticeable. This creates the rhythm of English. In English, we have simple words, compound words, and phrasal verbs. Stress patterns in these can differ significantly, and identifying these patterns in context is what we'll focus on today. Let's start with compound words. A compound word is a word that is made up of two or more smaller words. For example, blackboard, airport, football. The key rule to remember with compound words is that the first part of the word is usually stressed. So, in our examples, it would sound like blackboard, airport, football. Try saying these out loud and notice how the first part of each word stands out. Phrasal verbs are a bit different. These are verbs combined with prepositions or adverbs. Examples include, give up, break down, wake up. The stress in phrasal verbs usually falls on the second part. So, in our examples, it would sound like, give up, break down, wake up. Again, try to pronounce these out loud and emphasize the second word. Now that we understand the basic rules, let's do some practice. I will say a sentence, and I want you to listen for the stress pattern. Then, I'll repeat the sentence, emphasizing the stress so you can check your answer. 1. I'm going to the airport. 2. She decided to break down the problem. Could you hear where the stress fell in those sentences? That's right, airport, in the first sentence, and, down, in the second. I hope you found this video helpful and now have a better understanding of stress patterns in English. Remember, the key to mastering this skill is practice. Try listening for stress patterns when you're watching English movies or listening to English songs. And when you're speaking English, try to apply these rules to your own pronunciation. Thanks for joining us today, and keep practicing. You're doing great, and every step brings you closer to mastering English pronunciation.